Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Amber the Happy Homemaker. Today I'm going to be bringing to you four new fall farmhouse DIY decor pieces from the Dollar Tree. And this first DIY that we're going to get started on is this little wooden birdhouse that I picked up. And if you've seen a couple videos back, I made a bunch of little trinkets for my three-tiered tray that I'm going to be decorating for the fall soon and this was one of those pieces that I wanted to add to that collection so what I'm going to do is just paint it white with the Waverly chalk paint in white and then we're going to go and add some of those little farmhouse details. So now I'm just going to Mod Podge the top and if you see the little buffalo check piece of cloth, that is actually a dog bandana that I found in the pet section at the Dollar Tree and I picked up quite a few of these because I do love me to do some Mod Podge <laughs> with fabric and tissues and all kinds of sorts of things. So um, I wanted to fit right in with that buffalo check with the little things that I made last video for um, my tear tray and this was going to be perfect to fit in with that. Um, so while the top was drying, I picked up these little pumpkin pieces and they're so super tiny <laughs> and I cut it in half and put the stem back on the piece that way it would lay flat up against the house. And just so it fit in, because it looked a little yellowish against the white birdhouse, I'm painting it with the Waverly chalk paint in white, um, so it's not so ivory. Um, and then I'm going in with my Waverly chalk paint, or I'm sorry, Waverly wax paint um, and antique. So just to give it a little bit of distressing. And now I'm going to take my Dollar Tree detail scissors and just go around the edges and cut off all that excess fabric that was on the top. I'm also going to go in with some Waverly chalk paint and elephant and do a little dry brushing just to um, give it that little extra detail. So now I'm just going to glue my little pumpkin on here um, and just give it that little touch. I also picked up this um, burnt orange twine color and just adding that little bow to the top and I just think that just really completes the look and I'm excited to use this on my three-tiered tray and I'm so excited to get started with the fall decorating this year. So for DIY number two, um, and I know these projects, these next two projects have been done so many times, but hopefully I can show you my own little twist on it. Um, so I picked up this little wooden pumpkin. I'm going to Mod Podge it and I'm going to use this little piece of um, cardstock paper from, I believe I got it at Hobby Lobby. So it looks like shiplap. And I just thought it would fit really nicely into the farmhouse decor. So I'm um, just mod podging that on, making sure my lines are nice and even and pressing that down. And the trick that I do with like flat pieces like this when I'm doing mod podge is I get a rolling pin and just go over the tops just to make sure I don't have any air bubbles but I did not get to film that part of this project but now I'm just going to go around again with those little Dollar Tree detail scissors and cut off the excess paper and then doing a top coat of the Mod Podge just to make sure everything is nice and sealed in. So I'm going to use these metal letter or words that I picked up from the Dollar Tree 2 and I decided to go with Harvest. And now I'm just going to use my thin twine and wrap around the stem part of this just to give it a more like rustic feel to this piece. And again, using that burnt 
orange color twine and making a bow. Um, this is just really simple. I just wrap it around my fingers and then get a separate little piece and tie it in the middle where it cinches it all together and you have a cute little easy bow. I'm just gonna add that to the bottom of the stem. I just think that's adorable. So now I didn't think um, it was complete if I just put the word harvest on the middle. I thought the it needed a little bit extra. So I'm using this thicker nautical rope that I also picked up from Dollar Tree and just going around the edges just to make it look more complete. So what I'm going to do with this metal harvest word is go over it with the Waverly chalk paint, or I'm sorry, not chalk paint, <laughs> wax paint and antique, um, and just kind of dot it on there on the word. I thought just the straight metal was too like in your face. <laughs> so I wanted to kind of tone it down and bring in some more of those browns. So um, that's what I ended up doing and I glued that on there and that is how the sign turned out. And it's super simple, but I think it's it's adorable. So for DIY number three, we are going to do another wooden sign, pumpkin sign from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to remove the little bow that was attached and I'm using the Waverly wax paint and antique to just go around the raised parts of the pumpkin. So once that was complete, I picked up this fabric from Aldi's, believe it or not, um, and these little packs of five square of different patterns. And I thought this orange with the little polka dots was a perfect addition to this little pumpkin. So um, I cut it to size and I'm going to Mod Podge the raised parts um, just to give those a nice good coat. Then I'm going to leave my fabric down and give it a good press, make sure all the wrinkles are removed from the fabric. And then I'm going to seal it in um, with the Mod Podge on top and then I will go back in with my detail scissors and cut around um, the edges to remove all the excess fabric. I know there is a million different ways of how crafters do this but I like doing this technique I like sealing it all in with the Mod Podge and then going back with the um, scissors to cut around it it's just an easier way for me to do it but I'm sure there are plenty of other ways um, that you can do this as well so once that was all cut out that is how that pumpkin looks and I just think it's so cute so again I'm going to use the smaller twine and wrap around the top uh, just to give it that more rustic kind of farmhouse detail. And lastly I picked up these bows from Dollar Tree and I just thought the brown and the orange color just matched perfectly but I thought the trim or I'm sorry the bow was a little too long where you couldn't really see a lot of the details from the pumpkin so I'm just going to cut those down and make the tails a little bit shorter so you can really see the detail of the pumpkin and I just think that is adorable. and this will fit so nicely into the rustic farmhouse theme. Okay, for DIY number four, we are going to be doing another centerpiece. 
and I have really been enjoying doing these Dollar Tree centerpieces um, or the core pieces. You can actually set it wherever you wanted, <laughs> but it's going to be on my table. Um, I've really been enjoying doing these. So um, I picked up some more foam blocks. The wire basket is from Target Dollar Spot. I got it a couple of years ago, I believe for $5. And then I have these little bouquets from Dollar Tree with the pine cones and the cotton and the cattails. Um, and I'm going to start by using those first. And I picked up four of these picks and I just want to make sure it's nice and even all around. So what I do on the right I'm going to do on the left and what I do in the front I'm going to do it in the back so I just want it to be nice and balanced. I also picked up these beautiful pumpkin and berry picks from uh, Dollar Tree as well. I picked up four of those in this bouquet um, and I'm just going to make sure I have one of those picks in each corner. I have a couple of the stems of marigolds and this is just going to add that light color to the front of this. So um, just to really tie in all of the whites and the greens and the ivories and I just really love kind of how uh, natural the colors are. Nothing's really over the top. And then lastly what I'm going to do is I have a couple of these mini mum picks. Um, for Dollar Tree and I just cut those stems and going to add those just to give it some height and just to fill in any spaces that need to be filled in. And that is how that turned out. And I forgot to mention the leaves in the front is just to cover the foam pieces um, because this may or may not be permanent. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to make sure I had that nice and covered. But this is how that little centerpiece turned out and I am so happy with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.